Oh, all right. So that's the layout of the tube system that we're going to have. I'm going to send it to you. It's a building. Dimensions are 63 by 63. Uh, but maybe some of you were going to end up with like 64, 62. So the thing is, we want to have how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to have like 22, 23 columns because let's say we're going to have all of us 22 columns. So if some of you have the spacing two meter, they are going to end up with like 22 by two is going to be 44. Well, okay, let's let's make it 63, okay? If it's like one or two meter above that, that's fine. The thing is we need to keep the spacing. I'm not looking, this is not a real project. This is just a practice project that we can do the parametric study to, okay? So you are gonna put your columns with the spacing that is assigned to you, and then you will find out. I believe here is the spacing from the center to center. And this one, is like three meters, but from the 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 side to side is like two meter because these columns, I believe was like one by one or something. Yeah, that one by one. So we'll end up having two meter in between them. So the beam width, the beam length is two meter and the beam depth is like 1.5 meter or something. So can you imagine the aspect ratio? All right, so that's how the project is gonna look like with beams all around. Uh, I will prepare this one to be sent to ETAPS. Do you guys remember? We make the columns polygons and then we, you can draw the beams and the slabs here. But from my perspective, I only drew, uh, I mean like to make it easier for me, the most difficult thing is to draw the columns because there is hundreds of them. So I have to click one by one to do them. But the beams are just like four of them. So I can draw them in ETAPS very easy. Slab is like one rectangle, that's it. So, and the same thing for walls. I can actually make a bully line and make the shear wall. So the shear walls is really huge. It's like, if this is three meters, so we have 12 meter by 12 meter shear walls. Uh, all right, so we have this. Try to make the shear wall, this wall in the same line with the columns. This column. It's gonna be much better than the way that I have it here. So maybe you make the shear wall on the same axis. Why? Because you are going to build an outrigger system, and it's better to have the outrigger system cross columns and cross the shear walls, so it can work effectively. But if you want to keep it like this, that's fine. All right, so let's say that you prepared your model and it's going to be ready. Like, let's say, actually, I'm going to copy this and move it to 00. Actually, it's at 00, so it's, it's ready. So I can save as this building. as DXF file or DWG file. So maybe I will go, let's create a new folder. All right, and gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it DWG. I'm gonna say save. And I will go to ETAPS. And if you guys remember, we're gonna do file, new model. And then I'm gonna pick the units. I'm gonna make it metric. I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna pick blank, no grids, because I already have the drawings. You start define your sections, your materials, and your everything, and make the model is ready to assign the cross sections. So what if I would do it, I would define the slab thickness and material, shear wall thickness and materials. And by the way, the shear walls here is gonna be one meter or maybe 1.2 meter width, okay? Because that's a big building, not 30 centimeter or something. And this is also one of the things that we're going to study. If you change it, the, the thickness of the walls. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to file and hit import. And then I will go to DXF, DWG architecture plan. And I'm going to go back here. 
class project and I'm gonna change this to DWG and bake this file. Let's see if it's gonna bring it because we have it open on AutoCAD. So uh, I'm not sure if we need to close AutoCAD. I'm gonna bring this one at story one and um, I'm not gonna do any scaling factors. I'm gonna hit okay. Let's see if it's gonna bring it or not. I believe if it's WG is okay, but if it's DXF, you have to close AutoCAD. There's lots of details. So it says importing elements from DWG file. I should have imported before I come here. So once you import the file, it was gonna bring all the layers, the columns layers, the walls layers. So do you guys remember we, we went to the layer itself and said add column object, add beam object, add wall object, and it adds uh, everything. So once I do it, and make the verse story. Okay, it says can't at the end. All right, let's close this and try one more time. If it didn't work with DWG, we're going to try DXF file. Actually, try something else. Hmm, didn't work. Interesting. Let's save as SDXF and see what's going to happen.
Sounds like it's processing. Yeah. So DWG sounds like it's not working, even that they are saying you can import either DWG or DXF. So it's gonna take some time. So I'm trying something else. Since the layout is big, so it's taking more than usual. Hmm. 